know I haven't been around much, but uh, COVID and everything. Um, I've been reworking my CNC machine. I got rid of the AdTech controller. I know that I had some videos about doing um, M-code, and it drove me uh, nuts. So I gave up on it. Long story I'll tell another time. But I got something cool here. I'm still in the middle of building the machine, but I, I, I saw these... Uh, on a Drew Tech's website. If you don't know who Drew Tech is, he is a uh, he makes uh, touch probes, low low price touch probes. He has a really great wireless touch probe that I've got. I'll show. I'll do. I'll demo it once once my Linux CNC build's done. I'll demo it. But he just released these, and I like as soon as I saw it, I had to order it. And there is a picture of what I'm talking about. So. You can guess now he has a proper touch pro that he's making. These things are stupid and expensive. I'll put a link in the description. And, but yeah, like I don't know how many of these he's made or sold yet, but um, I jumped on this sucker and I just wanted to do a quick, quick video. Uh, lots of, lots of line. I actually have um, have some of that metal uh, line. I'll probably put on this, protect that, but. There we go. Nice. It's uh, I'm sure it's based off his wired touch probes, which are not super expensive, but it's a it's a horizontal housing, and of course, you know what that means is I can I can come in and I can get my uh, tool tool height for touch probing, and I can get my tool um, diameter. Uh, this is going to be a great addition to my little machine. And these, like I said, so this guy was. I want to say, you know what, it's like 300 like ish, ish, I want to say ish on that because I don't remember it's 299 or 399 I mean, if you've ever had a wrench on one of these, I mean obviously not the same thing, um, but uh, like it's a hobbyist, like to be able to take your hobby game up to another level, this is the way to go, this is going to allow you to move up a rung as it were. Um, without having to drop $1,500, $2,000 for used Renshaw um, tool setter. So, tool setter for cheap. Anyways, I know this is going to be like a 30-second video, and that's not really telling you much. Uh, very simple machine. Uh, it has two leads. It's a, it's a normally closed connection, so if you touch it, it opens. Very straightforward. Very simple. I believe it takes 5 to 24 volts. Um, it, it's... It's yeah. So there you go. That's what that's what I wanted to show. Nice little tool setter. I'll be able to set all my tools. Be able to put it off of the edge of my work envelope, and then be able to have just this guy sticking out for tool setting. How you do that is like you you get it so your tool can either go here and here on it, or um, and so you can have this right on the edge of your of your work envelope. And as long as you get to either side of this, and you're good to go. Exciting times, man. So uh, just want to show that. Have a good one.